Guys and welcome to the £30 Hackintosh. Sorry, I'll just uh, shut it down so that I can turn it on later on in the video. That was that blue flash. Um, so what did I get for my £30? It's a Fujitsu small form factor machine um, called an E420 E85 Plus Espremio. Um, an i3 fourth gen dual core processor running at four point, sorry, 3.4 gigahertz. Um, also, uh, let me give you a tour of the machine. So we've got two USB 2 ports, a uh, headphone and microphone jack on the front. Now those the headphone and microphone jacks don't work at the moment. Uh, I think I need to mess around with uh, layout IDs in Clover. Um, also, there is a DVD drive, which again is unsupported in Mac OS. Um, it does have a 500 gig hard drive and uh, 8 gig of DDR3, um, as well as uh, you know expansion ports, um, so I can fit low-profile PCI um, devices in there. Anyway, so let's have a quick look around the back and look at the other ports. So what have we got? We've got a proprietary power supply that uses something a lot, short, a lot shorter than an ATX cable to go into the motherboard, uh, very few pins. Um, it's a 250 watt unit. Um, that's a PS2 keyboard and mouse, a VGA, a DVI port, which I did buy a three pounds uh, adapter to HDMI for. So I guess you could call this the 33 pound Hackintosh. Um, Two USB 3 ports, um, two USB 2 ports that have got my keyboard and mouse in, a uh, LAN port, and then we've got more audio ports on the back. So the pink and the green um, microphone input and the speaker output are working, um, but the blue one, not a chance. Um, again, layout IDs, and these are the bays where you can put um, expansion cards in. But it is a low profile machine, so you know that can be a little bit tricky. Anyway, Let's go back to the unit and turn it on. So while it's booting, I'll tell you how I managed to get this to £30. So I saw this advertised on Gumtree for £60. Hang on, that's not £30 I hear you say. Um, well the advert also said it included a free, free monitor to anyone who wanted to take it away. So. Um, I called up my friend, basically we went down there, the guy actually showed me it working on Windows 10, yuck, with the monitor, and uh, the monitor was quite a nice one, it's a Dell UltraSharp, um, older sort of square style uh, monitor, but it did have HDMI inputs, um, DVI inputs, um, DisplayPort and uh, VGA, yeah. I think that's everything and it did have a USB hub and a speaker output for a Dell soundbar that can clip to the bottom which I believe uh, you know is able to take any other speaker as well. Now my friend um, who helped me pick this up because we are on public transport um, just fell in love with a monitor. The monitor he's, he's got or had at the time um, was an older sort of uh, Samsung monitor with just the VGA input. Um, but he fell in love with this one and he offered me £30 for it straight away. Um, not this one that I'm showing you here, this is my BenQ, which I also got for a stonking deal from Gumtree. 144 hertz gaming monitor um, for £40. <laughs> I'm not saying no. Anyway, back to this machine. Um, as you can see, we've got the one boot up option showing um, install. Sorry, not install. Um, start from start from Mac OS Mojave, and you see I've got a Fujitsu logo on there. So what I do, I always use the ThinkPad theme in Clover, and I download a logo with a transparent background, and that gives me um, the ability to basically call, rename it to logowhite.png, drop it into the ThinkPad folder, and it will come up with that logo um, above the bar, um, above the icon, sorry. Anyway, enough of that, let's uh, log in. Now, sorry, boot up and then log in, sorry. 
Um, now, uh, one thing I haven't managed to sort out, as well as the audio, um, the audio is working um, through the speaker ports. Now at the moment I haven't got speakers connected, I've literally got a pair of headphones, uh, so the audio from this, is, if you hear it, is going to be very low. Um, but yeah, um, so one thing I haven't sorted out apart from the audio is do get a purple flash in between the two parts of the um, sort of loading the Mac OS, um, which I have sorted out the definitions for the HD 4400, um, metal supported, everything supported. So, you know, that's the only bugbear, that little purple flash. Um, so here we are loaded um, waiting for me to sign in so let me put my password in okay and we're in Mac OS Mojave now once it's in bearing in mind it is a mechanical hard drive it's pretty zippy um, so about this Mac I'm oh, sorry I'm gonna zoom in to try and make sure that we don't get my serial number okay so basically we've got it defined, oops, there's the serial number, never mind, um, as a iMac 27 inch late 2013, 3.39 gigahertz Core i3, um, 10 gig of memory. Hang on, hang on, I hear you say. You said you got it with eight. Yes, I did, but I found another two gigabyte in a box of old computer parts that were sort of lying in a drawer, so I decided to use it and put it in and Intel HD Graphics 4400 um, with 15, with 1.5 gig. Okay, so, 1500 meg, yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, let's show you what works and what doesn't. So, um, there's my definition. Okay, 10 gig of RAM, there we go. Right, so let's go to audio. As you can see, I've got the HDMI audio working, the built-in line output, the inputs and outputs working. So, um, you know, I can pass audio through the monitor, although it doesn't have any speakers on its on its own. Um, in terms of uh, graphics, there you go, metal supported. Um, everything's working because uh, I have got the right definitions in there. And in terms of Ethernet. We've got Realtek, RTL, whatever it is, um, and that seems to be working fine as well. Now, this is pretty much a vanilla install um, in the fact that there's no Kex loaded onto the actual SLE. Um, it literally is just in the EFI Kex other folder. Um, so every Kex that I need is in there. I've got no extra Kex on the actual macOS Mojave at all and it seems to be working fine. So next, um, I'm just gonna bring up a website, YouTube I believe, okay, let's basically get that loaded. Now I am using Dark Reader, because I like the dark mode in Mac OS Mojave, and basically I use Dark Reader to sort of give me all the websites with a dark background. It's hit and miss, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, anyway, Let's have a look. Oh yeah, this guy's funny. Um, I hope he doesn't mind me using his video. So, oh hang on, he's got a got a actual um, video before it. Now that's the sound out my speakers. I'm, I'm out of my headphones. Sorry. <laughs> right let's stop that okay so as you can see the sound works the graphics work um, the audio I just need to change the actual layer ID um, yeah everything works um, so even sleep works believe it or not and wake um, which is quite amazing um, you know it's it's fantastic how far sort of clover and everything has got I mean uh, back in the day I <laughs> used uh oh i can't even remember what version of mac os was on my little sony thing uh 10.4 i believe it was and that was a nightmare um to actually set up anyway uh, i don't know what to do with this thing 
I mean, it's a fantastic little machine. Um, it's £30, but, you know, I've got another gaming desktop that's a fourth general, which I use the same EFI on, but with different uh, network uh, and uh, network text and a different layout ID for the sound. Um, and that works absolutely fine too. So I really don't need this, but, um, you know, let me know what you want me to do with it. Would you like me to sort of perform a few upgrades? Um, would that be good content for the channel? Because I am basically thinking of actually adding more stuff to the channel and being more active. Um, so what I was thinking is ditch the DVD drive. I do have a unit in there, a unit available that from my spares bin that would give me um, you know, various SD card readers in that slot as well as a couple of USB ports. Um, which I think is much more useful than a DVD ROM drive nowadays because of things like Spotify and uh, you know Netflix and stuff like that. We don't really need a DVD drive anymore. Um, also, um, it is a low profile machine, so um, do I add Wi-Fi? Did you want me to upgrade it to an i5? Um, you know, more RAM, uh, SSD. Um, you know, let me let me know, guys. I mean, if you if you want more content, I'm willing to sort of, uh, you know, add it um, and upgrade this to, you know, a, a lot better machine. <laughs> I mean, it's going to cost me. Um, that's true, but you know, I'd, I'd like I'd like your thoughts on it. Should I upgrade this thing? Should I sort of uh, put an i i five uh, fourth generation in, or maybe even an i seven? But bear in mind that it has got two hundred and fifty watt power supply. Um, should I get a low profile graphics card of some sort? Um, should I get a Wi-Fi card? You know, let me let me know guys. Uh, do, do you want to see it sort of dual boot, booting Macintosh and Windows? Yes. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, the only thing I use Windows for is a gaming machine. Um, you know, other than that, you know, I try to stay far away from it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And... Yeah, as I said, let me know if uh, you want to see this thing upgraded and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll show you it step by step. All right, thank you guys. Bye. Oh, by the way, you know what to do. Um, leave a like or dislike or comment um, and let me know what you want me to do with this thing. Thank you. Bye.